Hello, this is Mindy from The Weekend Gardener, and today I have a gardening tip for you. Do you have a rhododendron in your landscaping? If you're one of the lucky ones, and if you don't know what a rhododendron is, this is one here. They're very showy and beautiful type of evergreen trees. You may have heard that you should never prune a rhododendron until after it blooms, and this is a bloom on a rhododendron. And while that is true, because pruning uh, right now when the blooms are formed is going to create a situation where you have fewer blooms. But there are times when having fewer blooms is not such a bad thing. And in a situation where your rhododendron is loaded down with blooms, fewer is better than more. Now you may be wondering why that is the case. If you have a bunch of blooms on a rhododendron, it's very crowded and those blooms can't open as completely as if they had a little more room to spread their petals, so to speak. Pruning and thinning out some of the blooms will give the existing blooms some room to grow, so to speak. Now, there's another exception to that pruning rule, and that is if you have any dead uh, material in your rhododendron. You can remove that any time of year and removing some dead stalks and stuff will make your plant look better, showier, and will help keep down plant diseases. But don't just pull the pruners out of the garden shed. You will need to sterilize these. And how you do that is one of two ways. You can take rubbing alcohol and you can thoroughly clean the pruners, the handles and the cutting surface, or you can soak your pruners in a cap full of bleach to a gallon of water. If you choose the soaking method though, you will need to let them soak for about five minutes, take them out, don't bother rinsing them off, and set them out to dry. And I would suggest setting them out in the sun to dry. That will just give you one added addition of sterilization. Now you may wonder why that's important. Believe it or not, you can have pest and plant diseases growing on the handles and the cutting surface of your pruners. When you prune, you're actually creating a wound in the plant. And if you have plant disease or pest already on the cutting surface, you're just introducing that problem into the plant material. And why introduce a problem when you can prevent it? So the next time you look at your rhododendron and you're questioning, should I prune it or not? Just remember those two exceptions to the rule. So until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy from The Weekend Gardener.